Well, hello, my YouTube friends and family. Happy Christmas Eve. So, I wanted to show you guys the finished blanket. This is way long overdue, and some people that's been with my channel will know what I mean. I actually created this blanket for my grandson because his dad's from Ohio, and he likes Ohio State. So, I did the granny squares in gray, outlined them in red, and then did a total, this took a long time, did a black outline to accent it. And then I went on eBay and a bunch of sellers had beautiful Ohio State patches, which I was looking for methods to put it on. And all I could say is there's a glue out there called Fabrifix that's amazing. And I glued the patches on because if you would try to iron it will melt some of the um, stitches. It melts yarn. So the Fabrifix glue works amazing. I wanted something to hold that would be okay in the washing machine. So this is the completed blanket, guys. I finally finished it a while back and finally just got the patches on it. So it's done. And I'm really impressed with how it turned out. So this is going to fit his bed, and it's so funny because his mom just told me he was asking for one. So now we're going to take a little trip into my living room. And I wanted to show you guys what I do with my Christmas boxes for my grandkids. This is our tree. And then these are the mailboxes that I made up. There are six for all six of my grandkids instead of stockings because my one twin granddaughter was like, you got mail in her little playset," And I got to thinking, why not? So I dressed one, the babies up because this is her first year for her mailbox with a little, um, I don't know. It looks kind of looks like Cinderella's sleigh. <laughs> on top of hers and then little crowns on top of the girls and then the boys got ribbons and a, and a pretty garland and I got their names and stickers on the front the only thing I wished I would have done was decorate the boxes that they sit on and then over here we have the train that I wish was all the way around the tree for you guys to see because it is a really cool Christmas train this is the train that my dad had left me it had given me because he knew that I love this. So let me see if I can pull it around for you guys. I have always told him that if he left this train at anybody to leave it to me. My husband's not in here. I'd have him turn it on for you guys. Sometimes I decorate my tree with stuff, and sometimes I just leave it like this just because it's pretty. I do both. So this is the Walt Disney train, and there is a whole bunch of cars, and I don't even think they're all out. And it's just gorgeous. So this is the train that goes around my tree for my grandkids to see. And I just wanted to share it with you guys because it's a beautiful train. My dad took forever collecting that. And here's the boxes that they come in. And there's actually more trains in the box. Yeah, he didn't take them all out because it is heavy. I need new tracks that I haven't gotten yet. But so this is our Christmas. But I love the mailbox idea. And it was funny when all these mailboxes came in because one was open. I don't know if I thought we were smuggling something or what. <laughs> but <laughs> I thought it was cute because we had to order five at the same time. But the baby's getting a little one this year. And then we have a big one put back for when she's ready. Because she's just now sitting up pulling toys out of stuff. So this is what... <laughs> My living room looks like and I just love that picture this picture right here of the boys is when they were little 
My first two grandbabies were born the same year in 2009. And then this is a family photo. That's my husband's Grammy and Pappy. And then this over here for all you crafters. I got some old fashioned pictures too. This is my Grammy and Pappy. This is my dad's mom and dad. That's an old fashioned picture guys. And then I had a friend uh, who drew this of my girls when they were little. So I have that portrait and then there's my youngest, there's my oldest daughter. And then here's my mom and dad. Wait till you see these glasses. Remember the pointy ones? That's my mom's mom and dad. That's a whole picture. <laughs> and I'll show you another one before they had passed away. There's another old picture. That's actually my grandfather's side of the family. I has siblings. And there's my Grammy and Pappy. As they got older. It's an anniversary picture. So my walls lined up with family. I'm going to work on my husband's side though. Because I don't have, well, I have both sets of his grandparents, but I need to put his parents and stuff up here. So his side's over there, my side's over here, so they'll blend nice. But these are so cute. And the one that's getting the Ohio State blanket, this is one of his baby pictures. This was Angelo when he was a baby. It's my firstborn grandson. Look how cute he is. He's a doll baby. So, this is it, guys. Just wanted to share a little bit of my Christmas with you guys. So, I hope you guys have a great holiday. And I should be back here in a few minutes because I got to open Tammy's present. Bye. Mwah.